Okay, I finally figured out how to combine multiple bodies that are not touching. All these white ones, I want them to be exported as a single mesh for this side and same thing for the other side. Uh, originally I had to export many different files and then sort of recombine it in Cura, but I found a better way. I want to combine anything that is to do with the right side. Uh, so I'll start by selecting the first logo on the front, and then you may have to select this new component. That was key for me. And then the tool bodies are anything else to do with the right side. So not the L's, but yes, yes. And then I have all these different numbers. Hopefully I can just hold down shift and get them all. I think that worked. And then that is everything. And so I'm going to say OK to that. And so it creates this new component called component one down here, and it has all those same bodies in there. Um, but what you can now do is just right click on component one and save as a mesh. Check your settings. I go with high refinement and then OK and give it a name. So this is right stuff. And there we go. I'm going to now switch over to Cura and I'm going to load the right stuff. And it actually brings it all in, in perfect place. And then when I go back and I take the, the big piece for the right side, just this one right here, and I save that as a mesh separately, and I'll call it right side um, four, because I've printed a number of these for laptops in the classroom. So now I can go to, Cura, open right side four. And it doesn't automatically put it in place, but that's okay. I'm gonna select all my little bits and I'm gonna put them on extruder two. So they're gonna be white. And then now I'm gonna shift A and then uh, control alt G, which is group. And now that is exactly what I want. And I'm gonna go back and do the same thing for the left side. So now I want to do a new group, combine, pick the first one, and then all the rest that are left. I don't need these anymore. And then I want the left numbers, this one and all the rest. Okay, and combine new component and okay. It should give me another component. And now I'll right click on that one and save as a mesh, high quality, and then left stuff. That one, lastly, just the left side bracket itself, save as a mesh, okay, left side four. And now back to Cura, I'm going to open the left stuff and the left side four. This is going to be white. And I can hold my shift key and get the bracket. Control Alt G groups them. And then now I just have to position them and I believe it's gonna be ready to send to the printer. It's a little low for some reason. Let's get that up to zero. Make sure you always check that. And they have a little bit of a gap between them. That's Good, maybe I'll give it a little bit more. I can see by my numbers here, maybe I'll go with negative 40. Type here. Uh, try that one more time. Negative 40. Enter, and then if I go with the other one, positive 40. You can tell I've done this a few times, that'll give it enough room. And that's going to print some more racks. I've got 30 laptops in my classroom to stow away nicely. And so I've just got a couple more to do.
Okay, there we go. A little skirt to start the project and then no support needed. Everything's angled and should come out nicely. It's my fourth set.